our high heeled shoes. We love to wear them because they make us look so cute, but they can really be a pain, quite literally. They're not really fun to wear. So the question is, how do you look good without all the pain? Dr. Robert Joseph is a podiatrist. He's here to help. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate this it. This is a pair of shoes that I bought because they were on sale uh, at Nordstrom, and I love them because they're very sexy, fun, super high heels, but they're really not comfortable to wear. And I've heard that high heels are like the worst thing real, real, women can wear, really, yeah. for their back and their feet. They can be the worst things to wear because of the instability to the back of the heel and for the pattern for that is required to the front of the foot. Okay, so, and I'm already 5'10", so when I go adding like a three inch heel, now I'm over six feet tall and it's, it's, it's not a fun process to wear. Now you have added something to these shoes that's supposed to make it easier. Yeah. What is this thing? What I did is I basically added a pattern to the front of their foot women that belong in high heels, the end of the day, the front of their foot is very sore. Yes. And this the pattern here is actually created not to make your feet sore at the end of your day. And this is very firm right here, so I feel like it's going to give me good arch support, right? Will it help me balance in these actually, shoes? Actually, what it does is it takes the bones that you do walk on and actually elevates them. Oh, okay. So the pressure is distributed evenly over your foot. Oh, yeah. Because the first thing we do after we wear heels of this height is take them off. Am I, am I right about that? I've got Laura Skirty over here. Who's gonna, you've got, have yes, you got some, you, too? If you're talking high heels, I need to join the discussion. <laughs> okay. Come on up. All right, I'm going to put these on. I'm just wearing little uh, lower yeah. heels today. They were worried about me because I have slingbacks, but I'm thinking they'll work anyway. You wear the highest heels I've ever seen of any of any person on really? television. Now, yeah, you have very high heels. I'm never. But do you notice that I um, I bring my flip flops and I kind of put those you on? You do, shows. right? <laughs> exactly. But now, now with these orthotics, I won't need to do that. Is that how comfortable they are? This is making it a little tighter to wear the shoe. I have to tell you, it feels like it's raising up my foot a little bit. Okay. okay. Is it? Don't those look great? Wow, those are fabulous. I know they are fantastic. Wow, I think it's going to feel, feel pretty good. Let me, I'm going to balance on you here for no just a problem. second. No problem, go right ahead. All right, I got mine in. Yeah? What yeah, it makes your shoe fit a little differently. It's, a little, it's making the shoe a little bit tighter. And I've, uh, oh, I don't know if I'm able to get the left one on. Good thing we got our petties done, right? Yes, exactly. I could put it in another pair of my shoes. All right, I noticed the I difference. I have on. one in I and one out. I can feel the difference in my Ooh. right foot, but I can't get the left shoe on because it's, it's making the shoe fit tighter, much tighter than it normally would. Is that, am I, do I have it in wrong? No, you, think? you probably have it in incorrectly. What you have to be careful with is that you keep the slit all the way to the back. Okay. Understand back here, there's going to be a hole, and that'll keep your ankle from rolling over, and that's the key about the high heels. All right, let me try that on again. Now, I want to ask you, because we were chatting with it about it a moment ago, uh, that women will do crazy things to fit into heel, into shoes, oh, there we go, to fit into shoes that they love. You used to do a procedure where you would literally shorten women's toes yes, in L.A. absolutely. Seriously? Seriously. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. I, I, I had a, Are you kidding? Me? No, I'm dead serious. I, I had a girlfriend who actually could not wear high heels because her second toe would stick over the actual shoe and she couldn't wear a bigger Oh, ah, so, look at this. Well, what we decided to do is um, slice oh a piece of bone out of the side of her largest bone, which is called no. the proximal phalanx. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And then what we do is basically put a pin through and that, will, that fracture site will heal and her toe is in. Well, look how cute those shoes are. I got to tell you, those yeah. little red shoes are awfully cute. All right, so let me, I can, you know what, I have to admit, these are really, don't you like them? Yeah, I like the compare contrast. I have one in and one out. One and in and one I out. I definitely if, notice the difference. If you notice, wow, if you actually stand on great. one foot, you're going to be way more balanced than you normally were Ooh. without it because actually what's happening is the heel is sitting down wow. into a little groove that I made I to allow you to be balanced. I gotta tell you, I hardly ever wear these shoes because at the end of the day, because the heels are so high, they are so uncomfortable, but these actually feel pretty good. Hey, who? Listen, hey, she's got I on knew her, she'd be here. She's got on her sassy leopard prints that you probably never wear, right? I leave them under my desk. You leave them under the desk. Because <laughs> they I only wear them when I'm sitting. Did you put the little things in that he gave these, us? Yes, and let me tell you, these are the most uncomfortable shoes I own. Yeah. And these are bearable. Right. So wow. when we walk, That's awesome. right? Great. So we can, walk, we can wear anything. Right. For a minute, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but then we all bring other shoes to change into at the oh. end of the day because Great. our heels are so uncomfortable. So they're not your sitting down shoes anymore. No. <laughs> they actually could be walking shoes. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> wow. Love it. Yeah. Great invention. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, these are pretty good. I'm sorry, which suit? Say it one more time, Jim. I did... Those are hot. <laughs> oh, uh, the shoes from The View. These shoes from The View? I'm not. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, from the VO, yeah. Oh. Cute, huh? Aren't those cute? Yeah. Uh, those are very nice. So, and you yeah. could wear those, these with those types well, of shoes? Well, these are really meant for close-toe shoes, close -toe. right? Close -toe. And close -toe. Because you don't want to yes. see them. Uh, yeah. You don't want to see the form see, uh, going you can up the side. See it with oh, my, yes, but, yes. But I wouldn't know it was there unless you told me it was oh, there. Oh, but I, I got other shoes at home. <laughs> these these are great with that. If so. you want more information about these that are now making our cutest shoes bearable to wear, <laughs> here's what you do. If you can contact them, go on our show information page, gooddaysacramento.com. Click on show information across the top, and then today's date, there's a link to Dr. Joseph right there. Yeah.
Thank you. You're a credit to thank women you. everywhere. Thank I you so much for really having me. Thank you for making Lisa's leopard pumps bearable now. I'm serious. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. I'm so happy right now. Nick, back to you. I'm sorry. Being a guy is so much easier. It really is. We just have like one pair of shoes. That's it. One pair of blacks. We're done. I feel like I could dance in the these brown shoes now.